everyone, welcome to the Not So Legal Show. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the ladies of Walmart. I've got the best hip hop lyric, of course. But before I get to that, I've gotta talk about a class action lawsuit that I read about that I really kind of find quite comical. There are a bunch of lawyers who have filed class action lawsuits against various law schools. My law school was actually included, so I had to mention this case. Apparently, the lawyers are mad that when they went to law school, they sort of went under this premise that they, when they graduated, they would have a certain type of job and they would make a certain amount of money. And that actually, in reality, they didn't have that type of job and they didn't make that type of money. So of course, I guess the obvious link is suing your law school because they told you you would make a certain amount. If going to law school is really just based about money, certainly wouldn't you do more research than just banking on what your law school said? I think that you shouldn't really let money be your motivator anyway, so that's a whole topic for another day. But I just can't believe, you know, people already don't like attorneys and now you've got a bunch of attorneys moaning about how they didn't make enough money because their law school told them they'd make a certain amount and now they're not. I really think that these guys need to spend their time in other places and not in the courthouse over this type of an issue. Talking about issues though, let's get to another class action lawsuit that's been filed by the ladies of Walmart, which by the way, I'm thinking of doing a calendar called the ladies of Walmart. So if you'd like to see something like that, write in and tell me about it. Maybe you don't wanna see it, but I really hope that you do because I think it'd be a great press stunt that we could do. Anyway, the ladies of Walmart sued Walmart because essentially female employees are not treated as fairly as male employees. At least that's what they're alleging. Now, the Supreme Court shot down this case because there were a little bit of filing issues that they had with how many people were in the class action, but now they filed a claim with the EEOC and Walmart actually has the audacity to sort of say, the ladies just need to get over it. I hope they don't get over it and I hope that they succeed in their claim and I think we should follow this case and support them in their cause. We'll have to see what happens next. For those Giants fans out there, not so happy that you guys won, but I am happy that Giselle spoke her mind. You know, I think that women need to speak up and say what they want. I don't care that she's a model or she's a public figure. If she's pissed off that her husband's team lost and she has an opinion about it, she should just speak up like she did. I think everyone freaking out because she's a public figure and she shouldn't say things like that and we need to keep it in the locker room. It's ridiculous. I'm glad she spoke up and good for her. I still think the Giants suck. Speaking of the ladies, you know that the rappers love the ladies. So for the best hip hop lyric, I'm gonna have to go with Lil Wayne again this week. Now I promise next week I will go with someone new, but for now, here's this one for you. So he says, I have to look at my notes, hold on, because I always forget this lyric for some reason. Okay, what goes around comes around like a hula hoop. Karma is a bitch, but just make sure that bitch is beautiful. I mean, is that clever or what? I gotta say, it's one of my favorite songs. It's called She Will. I would check it out if I were you. So next week, I'm gonna be answering questions that the viewers have sent in to me, so you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. That's it for now. Always remember to honor your power and stay tuned for the next video posting.